So a lot of times you might have existing power factor correction capacitors and you find that you have a lot of harmonics or you created a resonant condition. So can you change an existing power factor correction capacitor into a harmonic filter? If I have these components, for example, if I have a capacitor and I decide one day that I want to switch it into a harmonic filter, all I really need to do is add in a line reactor to make it into a harmonic filter. But the problem with that is there's going to be an excessive voltage rise on the capacitor to the point where it might actually cause damage to the capacitor. So in short, the answer is no, you can't do that. But let me show you why. So if I take and look at creating harmonic filter, I have, again, a reactor, a capacitor, and then I decide on a tuning point. And that tuning point is the low impedance point. It's where I'm going to tune that filter to take out the harmonics of the power system, or at least reduce the harmonics in the power system. At 60 hertz, though, the impedance um, or the voltage drop is primarily capacitive. But there's also a drop across the line reactor. So at the terminals of the capacitor, the voltage will be greater than nominal. What I mean by that is if I apply 480 from here to here, and here to here, and here to here, A to B, B to C, C to A, across the actual cap, there's a different voltage than 480. There's actually going to be a drop across this reactor, and then that means there's a rise across the capacitor. So if I have, for example, J.5 ohms and J minus J 10 ohms, the total impedance across both is minus J 9.5 ohms. So in order to get the total voltage, I'm going to have that drop and that rise. So what that really means is, again, I can actually have a higher voltage on my cap terminals than I really expect. In this example, if it's a fifth harmonic filter, it's just the voltage applied times the harmonic order you tune it to over the harmonic order squared minus 1. So H squared over H squared minus 1. So for example, for a fifth harmonic filter, you'd have 480, which is the applied voltage, times 5 squared over 5 squared minus 1, which gives you about 500 volts. Now that's probably okay, and within the limits of the capacitor, they usually can take about 110% voltage by the capacitor standards. But the problem is, that's if I'm running at 480 volts. If I'm running at a higher voltage, which is very common today with utility systems, then that means this voltage starts to approach a much higher level, which then can stress the capacitor and cause it to fail. So if I put in a harmonic filter, I have to derate the capacitors in terms of voltage, and I select that first, and then I decide um, you know, how to tune the reactor to make it whatever fifth harmonic or whatever. So in this case, the effective amount of K-bar, and this is another point that you have to really pay attention to, is not going to be the rated K-bar. So if I have, a, for example, 300 K-bar capacitor, I'm only going to get 192 K bar out of that capacitor if I apply at 480 if it's a 600 volt rated cap. So you could say, well, I'm just going to oversize the, you know, the cap like I would a, a K rated transformer. But in this case, when I oversize it, what I'm actually doing is reducing the amount of K bar associated with it. And then, you know, you again figure out the filter effect and all that with the reactor. But let's take an example here now. So we decide, again, why are we putting in power factor correction to begin with or harmonic filters? Most of the time it is purely to get power factor penalties off our bill or to relieve the capacity of the system. So if I put in a load that's 1,000 kVA, 0.85 power factor, and my desired power factor to eliminate my penalty will, will require 247 kVar, in order to use the higher rated voltage caps, I put that 600 here on this side of the equation, and I know how much I want out of it. Divide by my applied voltage squared, I get 385. So in order to get the amount I need out of it, I'm going to go with a nominal 400 K bar capacitor. And this is all stuff that really comes into play when you're designing filters. Again, select the capacitor based on power factor requirements, select the reactor to tune to a certain frequency, and make sure both have the capacity and the withstand to handle the over voltage in the case on the cap and the current ratings on both and especially on the reactor side.